One of the things I just love being on the road here, you just never know what you're gonna get, what's gonna happen. When I go to places like this, I spend time looking around, investigating the place, talking to people, and actually getting the feeling and the mood of the shop before I press the shutter. I was up at three o'clock this morning shooting the star trails behind the shack here. I didn't know what was gonna happen, but I was lucky. I had the Milky Way just coming right down to the base of the cabin, shot that scene for two hours, then the twilight came up and did another series of exposures of time lapse, five and 10 minutes, just left the camera rolling for a while. And then another one when the first morning golden light just came in and kicked in the barn. So I've already been up for five hours and I've got three different shots at this one magical place. Out here in uh, Eastern Oregon this afternoon, a place called Kent. And I've been looking for these old shacks all day from sunrise to sunset. And some of these things, they've just got classic atmospheres. These shacks really tell a story. So I'm going to set up the gear now and see if I can grab that on film. Just the vibe of these things is unreal. You don't know what went on here hundreds of years ago. I've always been drawn to photographing these magic shacks. Wait for that crack of lighting to get that shot. I spent over 3,000 miles driving every back road all around the place. So I had a look at the road map and went on a grid. North, south, east, west, dirt roads, pulling up, getting lost. But it was all worth it when I saw this shot straight at sunrise this morning. Have a look at the old barn, that beautiful old tree behind it just reaching out and touching the sky. These shacks reflect the simplicity of life, a real connection with the past. All you really needed back then was a roof over your head place to keep warm. I reckon we seem to be overcomplicating our lives and often forget what it's all about.